Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to test the Maxing Mingda MC368 KT90 single ended triode integrated amplifier. And so, this is a Chinese amplifier that uses point to point wiring. And the company that themselves actually wind their own output transformers. And so, in this video, we're going to look at the distortion performance for harmonic intermodulation and as well the Gedley metric or GM distortion and so we're going to look at testing it at various output voltages ranging from 0 0.06 uh, volt up to uh, 4 volt so this this amplifier is considered a low power amplifier it has 18 watts output in 8 ohm and so Typically, you would use this amplifier with high sensitivity speakers ranging from about 92 up to 100. Obviously, you can go as high as you want. Um, so let's get into it and let's look at the test results. So like I mentioned, we have the test voltage range here. And so each time I go through and look at uh, the specific distortion uh, values, um, we'll be testing it at those voltages. And so we're going to be testing harmonic, IMD, and GM. Okay, so looking at the harmonic at the 0 0.06 output voltage, you can see here, uh, we're basically into the noise floor of the amplifier itself. And so the uh, second harmonic there at 10 kilohertz is 0.15%. Uh, increasing the output voltage to 0.25, you can see we're still into the noise floor. Uh, it's not until we get into the one volt output, which is about a 16th of a watt, that we start to see some harmonics show up and so it's predominantly H2 and so H2 at 10 kilohertz is 0.07 percent. Now looking at the 4 volt which is 2 watts output you can see here we have a very uh, even uh, distortion profile ac across this frequency spectrum and so uh, still H2 is dominant. We see uh, even an upper treble. Now that contrasts with what we saw in a more recent review of the Rogers Sound Lab uh, Class D integrated amplifier. You can see here, if you'll post a, a link to this test um, in the description. But if we look at the resulting distortion on this particular amplifier, we did see a rise uh, in the higher order harmonics with this particular. So you could see here H3 and H4 uh, were minus 51 dB. So going back to the Maxing Mingda here, we tested intermodulation distortion. And so you can see um, that the upper treble was at minus 67 dB dynamic range with the 0 0.06 output voltage and you do see here though that we have increased noise in the mid-range however that seems to subside um, at the 0.25 test voltage we have a full 76 db of dynamic range uh, in the 10 kilohertz region at the one uh, volt output we lose a little bit of dynamic range uh, but still really good at minus 67 and we still see a bit of a bump there in the in the mid-range at the 4 volt output, we start to lose uh, some uh, performance here with it being basically minus 50 dB across. So at the 2 volt output or 2 watt output, um, you're starting to see some compression starting to occur. Uh, looking at Gedley metric, you can see here I've done an overlay with the four different output voltages. And what we see here is with the lowest output voltage, 0 0.06, which is shown in green, it actually has the highest distortion of the four uh, through the mid-range. However, as we move up into the upper treble, uh, the tables turn and we see an inverse uh, relationship occurring where the distortion is lowest uh, with the lowest um, uh, output voltage and so you can see here the actual value is almost approaching 0002. Um, if you look at what I had for the the uh, Rogers Sound Lab you can see here this is the Rogers Sound Lab in red and so you see it doesn't even 
quite come close to uh, what we are getting here with this tube amp. Um, and then the green line is the Hypex FA123. It's the uh, Encore Class D, which is uh, world class for low distortion. And you can see here, um, it's uh, still quite a bit better than the tube amp that we're testing today. Uh, but the tube amp actually comes quite close. It's comes surprisingly close. Um, considering especially that classically tube amplifiers have been known to be uh, distortion generating uh, machines. Well, if we specifically look at Gedli distortion, then it actually performs uh, extremely good. So for those of you that don't know, the Gedli distortion focuses more on the higher order harmonics and specific types of distortions that we find uh, uh, subjectively offensive. So it basically ignores the lower order, like the second and third harmonic, and focuses more on other uh, distortion phenomena. And it applies a weighting class system so that the higher order distortion products are going to be given a much more significant contribution to the overall value that you're seeing here okay so it's it's much more uh, stronger correlation with the uh, you know what, what we find musically pleasurable so uh, in conclusion um, the uh, this particular amplifier does really well in the lower output voltages when looking at the upper treble performance so particularly with the 0.25 test voltage uh, we see the best treble quality in terms of the IMD and then the Gedli metric so this equates to a listening level of 80 dB uh, with a stereo pair of speakers assuming that the speaker sensitivity is 95 dB at 1 watt which so the 80 dB listening level represents an average listening level so um, that concludes my review of the Mexing Mingda MC368. And so after this, after I had done this testing, I decided to purchase uh, new output tubes and I decided to go with the Electro Harmonix. And so I think what I'll do is install the Electro Harmonix tubes and then repeat this test to see if there's an effect on the, the objective test results. So uh, stay tuned for that. Take care and have a great day.